Hi, welcome to Everyday Galif. I'm Amit Basole, faculty member at Azim Premji University. In this series, we have been thinking with Galif, which is the title of a book that I have co-written with uh, my friend Anju Maltaf from Lahore. In this book, we have taken 30 of Galif's couplets, and in each one, we try to think about what Galib is trying to say and how it is relevant for our times. Today, the couplet that we have selected is the first one in the book. It goes like this. Kya farz hai ke sabko mile ek sa jawab? Kya farz hai ke sabko mile ek sa jawab? Aao na, hum bhi sair karein kohe tur ki. Aao na, hum bhi sair karein kohe tur ki. Translated, is it given, is it necessary that everyone will receive the same response? Everyone will receive the same answer? Come, let us also take a stroll around Mount Tur or Mount Sinai. What is being said here? The first thing, of course, to understand is the significance of this term Kohetur or Mount Sinai. In the biblical and Quranic tradition, some of you may be aware, there is a story of Moses. And at the time when Moses was asked by his people to demonstrate the proof of his prophethood, the fact that he is a prophet, by going to the mountain, Mount Sinai, and witnessing God. Moses goes there to ask God to show his people that he is the true prophet. And he asks, to, he asks God whether he can see him, behold him. And the answer that Moses receives is no. No one can behold the manifestation of God. That is the jawab or the response that Ghalib is referring to in this couplet. Now with that little bit of uh, tradition and history in our belt, let's revisit the couplet. What is he saying? This is a very mischievous and playful verse. He's saying, well, we know this story. We've all heard this story that this happened and this guy went up and this is the response he got. But is it the case that everybody should always get the same answer? No, not really. We could also try our luck. You and I could also go and take a stroll, as he says, Ser karte hain, kohe tur ki. And if we go there, maybe we'll, we will receive a different answer from what Moses got. So through this, through this kind of playful way, Ghalib is questioning the traditional received wisdom and saying that in each age, we need to reinterpret what are our uh, problems, what are our answers, and sometimes the questions may be the same old ones, but maybe the answers we receive to those questions are new. And this is a lesson very much for our times, especially the taking of a very traditional, revered almost story and subverting it. Right? If you think about the kind of times that we live in and the growing intolerance of our times all around, then something like this, which is taking uh, a powerful traditional story and saying and almost making fun of it that sounds so uh, bold for our context and yet Ghalib has done this so effortlessly uh, and so beautifully in the process giving us uh, a lesson for our times think for yourself ask your own questions and don't necessarily be bound by tradition maybe you will be successful where others have failed that's essentially what he's saying so in uh, conclusion, let's come back to our verse. Kya farz hai ke sabko mile ek sa jawab? Kya farz hai ke sabko mile ek sa jawab? Aao na, hum bhi sair kare kohe tur ki. Is it necessary that everyone receives the same response? No, it isn't. Come, let us try our luck. Come, let us take a stroll around Mount Sinai. Next time, we will pick another share, another couplet of Ghalib and similarly think with him. Join me.